The next thing I remember, uh, I was waking up and I thought I was still flying, so I was keying the mic, trying to talk to air traffic control and let them know that uh, I was okay and I needed to land. And while I was doing this, I noticed that my windscreen was very, very clear and much clearer than normal. And that's when I did realize it was missing and I was actually on the ground in a field. In hindsight, all my symptoms that day were caused by carbon monoxide poisoning. I didn't recognize it at the time. Um, the biggest takeaway is once you're exposed to carbon monoxide poisoning or carbon monoxide, you no longer can trust your judgment. So the only thing we as pilots can do is to equip ourselves with carbon monoxide detectors that have both an audible and a visual alarm. That was Dan Bass, a Mooney pilot who was exposed to carbon monoxide poisoning. So you just watched a video from the NTSB YouTube channel. I have the link for the video in the description below. Thank you, Dan, for uh, sharing your experience. So many of you already heard about carbon monoxide poisoning especially if you're a pilot. Recently, I was listening to Max Trescott's Aviation News Talk podcast, episodes 88 and 90, in which he talked about aircraft carbon monoxide poisoning. He also talked about some other portable carbon monoxide detectors that are available in the market. If you are not already subscribed to his podcast, I highly recommend that you do so. I have a link to his website in the description below. I thought the whole discussion was very interesting and informative. I'm a gadget guy. I carry a portable locator beacon, a handheld nav cam, another pilot gadget in my flight bag. So I just realized that I'm missing a portable carbon monoxide detector. So I have decided to purchase one and I looked at various avail options available in the US and found these units with good reviews. But I was not sure which of these units would work best for me. So I have decided to try some of these units, uh, units out by testing them. So as a pilot, hey, I want a CO detector to be a sensitive and responsive to low concentration. It should also be able to alert me uh, with audio and visual alerts uh, if, if CO concentration exceeds certain thresholds. According to an FAA document titled uh, Detection and Prevention of uh, Carbon Monoxide Exposure in General Aviation Aircraft, published in 2009, the permissible exposure level are the, are the PELs uh, for carbon monoxide is 50 parts per million. The, however, the document also states that um, 35 parts per million as the recommended level. I highly recommend this document. Uh, I encourage you to read this and check out this document. There's a whole lot of information about carbon monoxide poisoning. It also talks about uh, various testing uh, that, uh, that had been done uh, with regards to CO detectors and also tested the locations where a detector might be might be placed to give optimal results. So I have the link for this document uh, in the description below to check it out. So the first one that I have here is a Toxin 3 by Otis. So I bought this on, uh, on the Sportis website. So this is primarily designed to be used in the cockpit. So additionally, I bought this SensorCon industrial sensor uh, on Amazon. So, and as a third detector, I bought this aircraft and vehicle carbon monoxide detector by Forensics. So this is the cheapest among these three units. So also I figured I might as well wanted to test this, uh, this patch that you can get from Sporty's website or some other website. Uh, I actually have this in the airplane that I fly but I never know how well this works. According to the website, uh, the, the orange spot in the middle will turn dark when uh, carbon monoxide is detected. So my idea is to test all these three units in this patch uh, side by side, find out which unit would work best for me. All right, my test setup here is simple. I have a box in which I have placed the carbon monoxide detectors that I'm planning to test and I have a small fan and uh, I'm going to be introducing carbon monoxide from one of the sides. So uh, remember that this is not perfectly uh, airtight. So this is the test gas, uh, carbon monoxide test gas uh, that I bought this can from Granger. Okay, so I'm going to be introducing carbon monoxide right now. So right now at this point, all the units are reading zero concentration 
so they all been they all have been uh, cal calibrated in the factory see what happens so I just added one pump of carbon monoxide so the all the units have started reading okay let me try one more pump I noticed that toxin 3 are uh, showing a higher amount of carbon monoxide concentration compared to the other two units and I see a slight dark spot on the sport dispatch all right let me add one more all right toxin 3 started a beeping so as the sunset con and all the three units actually started beeping uh, toxin 3 is showing me highest concentration of 45 sensor con 35 and the small unit 39 so toxin 3 at this point seems to be showing the highest amount compared to the other three other two units i'm going to empty everything there is inside the can into the detector and see what happens Toxin 3 is showing me the highest concentration followed by the small unit and the sensor con unit at the end. So I have 124 peak parts per million in Toxin 3, 112 in the small unit and 95 in sensor con. I believe that's going to be as high as it's going to go. The Sportis has now showing, seems to be showing a small dark spot. Okay, looks like everything is pretty stable. So it has been a few minutes since the since I took the box outside and, and let all the carbon monoxide escape from the box. So you can see that these two units are reading zero concentration, which is back to normal. And uh, on the sport dispatch, you may be able to see a slight dark spot in the middle. That's that's about it. So let me talk to you about what I, my observations were. This unit has been relatively quick. Um, in measuring the concentration, I noticed this unit being sensitive and this unit also read the highest amount compared to other two units. Uh, on top of that, it has good audio and visual alerts and there's also a buzzer, there's a vibrating thing going on. You might be, you might have noticed in the video there. So the sensor con unit, it did uh, read the concentration, it was a little bit slow to react and uh, it did not record the same highest concentration as the other two units and it's still lagging behind it's still showing me five parts per million so i really had high hopes for this but this is a bit of a disappointment so this little unit isn't too bad at all uh this came really close to this unit in terms of concentration it was really uh, um, showing a slightly less uh, co concentration uh, the audio visual alerts aren't too bad audio alert isn't probably not loud enough another issue with this unit is the sensor is in the back so it is really important where you place this unit and also make sure that it's in your field of view uh, to notice these alerts. So on the sport dispatch, if you are not looking at this patch, you won't be able to notice a change in CO concentration. Okay, so the price, I bought this unit on the Sportis website for about $169. I bought these two on Amazon. So sensor con unit was $179 and the small forensic unit was about 100 bucks okay so here comes the carriers these two units uh, i believe feature electrochemical sensors and these sensors need to be replaced in a regular intervals according to the manufacturer the toxin 3 sensor need to be replaced every two years of course it depends on the usage that's a recommended replacement the sensor itself cost 85 dollars small unit by forensics they recommend replacing the device every three years so this unit device actually has an expiration date. This unit, so I did not see any uh, sensor uh, replacement recommendations. However, they do recommend calibrating the unit every few years. Overall, I like this unit because it was specifically designed for pilot and it has good, very good audio and visual alerts compared to these two units. So among these three units, my choice would be Toxin 3 by Otis by far all right so please let me know if you have any comments or questions hope that you found this video useful i'll see you in the next one squawk 1200 talk to you later frequency change approved